Oh, like one, yeah. one, one, two, three, four. <laughs> right, yes, yes. A lot of working women actually want a wife, like men have yeah. always had. Mm -hmm. And that is, um, you know, what, what we all need. Would you like yeah, a wife? Like, I'd love a wife. 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 I'd Sports agent and ever so slightly chauvinist, you might say. Dr. Eric Seligman is a psychologist. Henry Bonsu, journalist. Miss Daniels, also a journalist. And Eric, you were saying to us that there is a real problem now with young men because the, the suicide rate has gone up considerably. Yes. Do you equate that with men's uncertainty about their, their role today? Absolutely. One of the major causes, of course, is employment. Unlike women, who rarely ever take their own lives because they've lost their job or their job is under threat, with men, although it may seem childish and a lot of women think it seems too simplistic, their identity is their job. They are what their job description describes them as being. And if their job is under threat, their personality um, takes a real nosedive. In addition to that, I think what we're talking about here that's very relevant is that what do they have to offer women? And I think a couple of chaps mentioned the fact that they're not quite sure what women want. On the one hand, um, images of the new man, the caring, sharing, supportive guy who involves himself in recreational weeping and changes nappies at two in the morning. On the other hand, you see Grant Mitchell and people like that on East Enders, um, the hard man who, who comes across stuff. Both of these things are rubbed in young men's faces all the time, and they're not sure what women but want. Surely, and the hard man always men, gets the girl. That's blah, 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 the problem. Blah, 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 blah. Surely, no, if men are committing more suicide than women, that's what you're saying? Yes. If that's so, what's happening. Maybe yeah. that's the only way they get rid of the women, get, <laughs> escape from them, is by committing suicide. Because they nag, nag, <laughs> and nag you. If we can just interject there, yeah. And prove it. I like the division there between... Hold on a moment, Henry. I like the division there between hunter-gathering male and kind of more millennial consensual male yeah. and the gentleman back there made a point about you know his best friend is a young woman and lots of my very good friends are women the difficulty is you end up becoming their best friend their counselor your phone line is constantly engaged why haven't you called me you listen you have to deal with all their problems <laughs> and then you're on your own <laughs> Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, because what it means is that the rough raw male edges that make women bleed but what they really love tend to be diffused, you become softer, more round, more yeah. caring and sharing. And, and a lot of women famous. don't really, deep down, want it. They don't find it sexy, yeah. they don't find it attractive, they want the Jack Nicholson, the tear away, no, the walk on the mouth. You know, yeah. 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 Maybe it changes when they get into their mid-thirties onwards. Excuse but believe me! me. No. Believe no. Me. Hello, no. top of the look, hand. Look, 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 if you want <laughs> sex, you don't be her friend. Mm. She does not want to have sex but with her friends. But don't women want to fall in love with a person who's also their friend? Not her mate? No, maybe I don't want to. Go on. So no, 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 no. I, I just have to say, I disagree, and I'm not over 30, and I personally love a communicative relationship with someone who's my best friend, who, mm. you know, has a sense of humour and who can just be adorable and who can love me as but I the love man them. Who's and the, the man who's op the open book often gets kicked to the curb and discarded and becomes the best yeah. friend. That's what no, happens. Well, well, Although that's, I think on the whole, the right people. I agree, you may very well be, you know, a woman who wants that, and that's great, but I think Henry's probably telling the truth. What women say publicly and what women's media says in terms of magazines, which is they want a guy who, who is, you know, physical and so on, but also terribly caring, sharing, supportive, they're friends. But ultimately, I think he's right. They don't necessarily fancy guys like that. And that's because everyone truth. can see something different, you know, it's like that is blonde true. or brunette that or whatever, so. Yeah. What we want is someone who's a little bit of all those things. We want yeah. everything all in the one Well, we heard it there. Okay. We want Good. everything. We want everything. Those are the key words. We heard it. So many. Women are Esther. very, very good at being all different things to all Are they really? Yes. We can step children and girls very easily. I'm every woman. So we expect that men <laughs> that are able record. to do that as well. I do think, though, women can, you know, it is a fine line for men to tread. You know, if you're too sensitive, you're a wimp. If you're too macho, you, you know, you're sort of a, a chauvinist. And I think women do need to spell out a little bit more. But I think mm -hmm. it is because we are able to be so many different things to so many different people that we think, well, come on, you give it maybe, back to us. Maybe, maybe the result of being so many different things to so many different people is the bundle of nerves and insecurity that guys like me, who are very good friends to lots of women, see. Because a lot of women work hard, you know, their jobs are everything to them increasingly, and yes. I suspect we're going to see the suicide rates and the alcoholism yeah. and all the mental illness rising among we women. And it's yeah. because you're so many, good at doing so many different things to so many different people. You don't know who you are, a lot of you, mm -hmm. and you're quite insecure, a lot of women are. Everyone's talking at once. One, yes, quick, one quick point. You see, I'm not against men being sensitive or, you know, crying. Oh, it's wonderful. The man, is, you know, can cry and move
movie or a, a book or a play, I don't knock that off, it's wonderful. It does make, take a man to cry for a man to cry. The discussion here, I believe, maybe I'm monster confused, monster, monster confused, is we're here talking about the difference between men and women. I would say that men do certain things, and women, women really are made to have babies. Adam and then Eve. They come, women come second. Women are there for a certain thing in life. I'm not saying women don't. Look at Esther Ransom, one of the finest, emmest, Jewish word again, the truth, finest presenters of these type of shows in the world. Forget your Oprah Schmoferies, she's the best. That's a fact. No, Emma, the truth. <laughs> But I'm not saying she will do that, but don't neglect yeah, your own life. No, I'm not knocking hey, 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 Eric, 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 the schmooze was lovely. Thank you very much for the tribute. I'm being ever spectral. But there is just a tiny bit in me that, that listens to you as if I'm hearing a sort of historic document, because the noises you make are just a little bit out of date these days. No, 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 no. I, I want to pick up something that, that, that we said before about mental illness in, in men and women, because I'm not sure, Eric, you'll be able to tell me, but I have a feeling that when women were confined at home, obviously some women who, who needed liberating, literally needed the opportunities the outside world could offer, they had even more mental illness. Their suicide rate was higher. That you've got an awful lot of, of mental anguish from women who were imprisoned at home. And surely the, the, the reason that women are now their suicide rate is, is dropping, the mental illness rate is dropping, is because we've got these opportunities. It's just we don't want them at the expense of men, do Well, we? more than that, in fact, what's, what people should realize is that men and women are different, and women should listen very carefully because yeah. they are better built biologically and psychologically yeah. to handle modern leadership jobs. They can handle a variety of things at the same time. Um, doing a multiplicity of tasks, men are far more single-minded. and so we cannot, be better? As you, as you were saying, that you can be... Women have had to be a number of things at the same time. To the Jack same of all trades, master Women are much better at that. You actually are superior at that than men are. So what is the role? Person. What's the new role for men, then? That is the question we're arguing not right now. Absolutely. Tell me. What do you do? Eric, what do you do in your own life? Do you have time to listen? Do you actually want to listen to all of this? I mean, you, have you a family? Yes, I, I have. Actually, I, I do have uh, two girls, and I'm not here to oppress women, because I have two girls who will want to be able to be leaders if they want to be. Yeah. But I was uh, quite struck when I, my, my daughters were born with each of them, thinking that if you bring them up, to, be, to have access to male behaviors and to encourage them to do male things, that they'll take to it more equally. Yeah. No. I was, even though I'm a psychologist and I've read the studies and so on, I was still surprised when I saw my daughter, particularly the older one, go straight for the Barbie dolls. Uh, despite my objections to, um, to the stereotypical behavior, perhaps, it makes no difference. And when I saw it at a personal level, I realized it's true. We are different, and though you may want to change those differences, uh, with most people, they're here to stay. Right, we've got some men. We've outnumbered men. Yeah. Um, I was wondering if I could present um, a set of facts to you. Um, at home, um, friends of mine, um, two parents now, uh, both very successful barristers um, in London. Um, they had children and the decision was then made that um, one of the parents should stay at home and bring up the kids. Um, the husband forwent his um, profession as a barrister and now stays at home looking after the kids. And he's having, having an absolutely brilliant time. He says, great, I'll get up at 8 o'clock instead of getting up at 6 o'clock, um, take the kids to school. Um, I've now got the rest of the day free for myself. Um, he's at home looking after the children. So? But he should be out working. No, that's disgraceful. Know, that's nothing to be proud of. I know, I know, but the lady is there making an awful lot of money. So they he's Baron and she's Henry. No, they, they are making a brilliant life for themselves. The kids are being brought up very well. And he's having an absolute wonderful life. Not the right, um, this man, I tell you, this psychiatrist or whatever, yeah. if that can't be the right environment to bring up children, this, it confuses what? them. So you're saying that men can't bring up children? You don't think that men are sufficiently empowered to bring up children? Did you have a father, Eric? Yes, I love him. <laughs> how, how much did you see of him? Poor mother. All the time, well, not all the time, they have the cab driver, London black cab driver, I've been with black, with black cab driver, I've yes. driven a black cab, and I saw him a lot. Right. Well, listen, one of the important points here is that if, let's face it, realistically speaking, if someone was looking for a girlfriend or a wife, and he advertised in the Lonely Hearts columns, or any one of the dating agencies, saying, I want to be a house husband, do we honestly believe he would get as many offers no as one. a man who no advertised one. saying, I want to be a father and a breadwinner? No, even though it's... it's, 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 it's a female, if the woman wants to work yeah. and has her heart set on being a barrister, then that would apply to her. That would... Yeah. Yeah, it would yeah, it would be, oh, be interesting. Would... Uh, how many women in our audience today would quite like the idea of a house husband? 